This is the Business Experience Show, where we talk to entrepreneurs about the challenges and successes of starting, owning, or operating a business. Welcome back to the Business Experience Show. I'm Lisa Caprelli. Also here with me is Brian Gaps. Our next guest has been in the mortgage and direct lending business for 11 years. Welcome from eMortgageNow.com, Darren Gaffari. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for the wonderful introduction. I know. So good to have you. Your radio interview debut. It is my pleasure to be here. Thank you. <laughs> of course. We can have fun. Hi, Darren. Uh, please tell us about your company. Uh, eMortgage is actually a, a, one of our um, newest companies that was just recently formed less than a year ago. But it is uh, more automated, more streamlined. It's the new generation of mortgage lending. I love that because so, not, not every mortgage company has that automation. Explain what that means, how that helps benefits the homeowner who's refinancing and how it benefits yeah, the Yeah, it absolutely now. brings the borrowing costs down. It makes it very competitive because uh, the borrower gets to get um, absolute lowest pricing, the wholesale price. Right. Um, because a lot of the stuff is automated and streamlined. So, um, and many bo- businesses should be could be that way. So I applaud Absolutely. you for that. Thank and ex- you. explain wh- how what that means to you by being automated for businesses. O- that automated may not know means, what means. Uh, we could literally run our mortgage company from an iPhone. So wow. um, we don't miss a beat mm-hmm. on twenty four seven. Even uh, if we have to go into a serious meeting or a serious personal matter, we can take care of our clients no matter what the case is, any time, day or night. So so how would someone find you? They search in Google keywords. Do you you participate in in your company in in advertising like Google? We are, yeah, we are actually uh, certified with Google. We do do advertising with Google. However, they could also look us up um, Mm -hmm. organically as well Mm -hmm. by just typing in. Do more more people you think today rather do the path of least resistance and go to the internet versus calling you on the phone? Most people like to go on the internet versus call us on the phone. At least uh, that clientele that we're getting are right. mostly finding us on the internet. Actually, when I Googled uh, eMortgage Orange County, you come up first in the search. So you must do a fair amount of online business <laughs> and advertising. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, we do. And thank you for... Um, mentioning <laughs> appreciate that it's I mean, good to know it works <laughs> right well you're in a great company with interest rates being uh, all-time historic record low uh, that's correct yeah re- low, lowest ever lowest in ever every day you wake up and you're like lowest ever again yeah and I, I used to say you know lowest in 40 years and i've been saying that now i'm saying lowest in 46 47, now you can 48. say to some people lowest since you've ever been alive yeah right? exactly and i hear i hear that interest rates are supposed to stay low through 2015 that's correct the Fed uh, has uh, multiple times has made this very clear, and uh, just because the markets every time uh, are hoping that the the Fed will raise, and they're not going to raise at least until 2015. What determines what raises interest rates? Um, the economy. Um, yeah. w- once the economy is back on track, housing recovers, um, and so the un- Fed- unemployment rate gets uh, a little bit more decent, but mm-hmm. below seven percent, that's when rates will go higher. I expect that in you know, at least 2015 or higher. Lisa has a <laughs> Lisa has a background in real estate finance, but I know much less about it. Uh, does your company work primarily with one lender or multiple lenders? Multiple, actually, and only the finest and the top. We work with about 80 to wow. 85. That's a good I, question. I had over 100, but I let the ones that don't perform go right away. So. So on average, it, when someone is refinancing, they're shopping around for a home loan. What are some key tips you could share with the public on what they should look for to get into to get into the right loan or to get into uh, you know do- start the process with an ethical mortgage company? I know you all are A plus rated on the Better Business Bureau. Yes, we are. But you know, and I tell a lot of my clients, uh, not not just our clients, but um, just people in general, mm-hmm. it's not about the rating. Anybody can have a good rating. All you have to do is <laughs> respond to the complaints. Right. Well, unfortunately, most companies don't do that. Very mm-hmm. few do. But look at the actual complaint history. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. Anybody can get an A-plus rating, but go look at the complaint history. Some of them have 500-plus complaints. We have zero. We've never had one ever in the history. 
and uh, we don't plan on ever getting one because right. uh, well, we that take says really a lot about care. your company. Your company yes. again is eMortgageNow.com. And uh, what are some what's some information? I have a mortgage background, so I, I yes, kind of ask you questions <laughs> that I I don't want to put you on the spot, but um, I do like sharing with our with our audience. Uh, explain what when someone's shopping around and and maybe they get something in the mail that, that says like two percent interest rate, something ridiculous. Maybe they see a freeway billboard sign. How does someone know that your the rate you're offering me is the best one? And you know what does it mean when you pay points, fees, and closing costs? Well, um, you can pay points, fees, and closing costs. I, I think uh, it depends on um, if you're de- going to stay in the home long term or not. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, the number one thing is when you're looking at points, fees, and closing costs is your break even point. How many years will it take to actually break even? So. Um, I usually like to stick with a rule of thumb of five years, no less than three years. Um, and, and then do you help the client determine how long it'll take to break even? Yes, we give them multiple options. We like to uh, give them at least a zero point option mm-hmm. and no cost, no fee. And then nobody's really paying points these days right. anymore. I mean, unless you're... Right. And you, and you have something called a quarter point rule. It, that is correct. With regards to that? Yes, that, I do. How did you know about that? Uh, he <laughs> did his research, Darren. So yeah, explain that. On average, uh, and this is just a rule of thumb in general, mm-hmm. uh, zero points mm-hmm. is usually about a quarter point lower than um, the point. And then uh, if you want to go with no cost, no fee, that's about a quarter point above mm-hmm. the zero point. And then, of course, if you want to buy down, Usually, one point buys a quarter, but these days, sometimes it doesn't. It only buys an eighth. So, stick to the quarter and, point. And the uh, <laughs> another thing homeowners need to, when you're refinancing for a mortgage or you're, or you're purchasing a home and you're getting a mortgage, is you need a good faith estimate. That's correct. Explain to the borrower what needs to be on the good faith estimate. The rate, closing cost, um, the rate lock, mm-hmm. settlement fees, uh, impounds, taxes, and insurance mm-hmm. all have to be on the GFE Mm-hmm. AKA good faith estimate. Right. It's now called now they call it the GFE. Right. Um, so it, it's a little bit more trickier. Unfortunately, uh, the Fed came in and uh, changed it a little more. It used to be on one page. It was a lot easier to read. Now it's three pages, and um, it doesn't make sense uh, <laughs> half the time when the borrower reads it. Unfortunately, with the new GFE. And by law, you're required to deliver a good faith estimate within how many days? Um, usually within seventy-two hours. Okay. And is there something to look at with regard to the loan officer commissions? On the yeah, so I, thank you for mentioning that. That's one thing that you can really see if you're getting the best deal is by looking at the loan officer's commission. Now, if the commission is not listed, it means that they're either a mortgage banker or mm. a direct lender. And unfortunately, a lot of clients um, think that just because you're a direct lender, it's the best way. It's not necessarily because you never get to see the true commission of the mortgage banker's Deal, so you never know if that was absolute the lowest possible. So deal. when someone is shopping around and they say, Darren, can can you look at uh, my good good faith estimate? You can immediately tell if they're getting a good deal or not. Absolutely. And then you say, seconds. Good, stay with that loan officer. That's a great company. <laughs> <laughs> Very rarely do we say that, but right. um, um, yes, I do. Sometimes we do say that, and I don't mind being wrong. Right. You can't be right all the time. <laughs> and I've heard you speak about something about the signing of good faith estimates that it used to occur and. It was a lot. Yeah, you used to actually have to sign it. Now mm-hmm. you don't. Mm-hmm. And it used to be on one page. It was a lot easier. Now it's more trickier. So it seems like, uh, although the you know we are trying to enforce certain rules, it is also confusing a lot of borrowers at the same time. So when someone when someone wants to get a, a refinance and and they're not sure what the value of their of their home is, obviously you do an appraisal. But where what are some websites people can check actually, on their own? Actually, we look up AVMs for free, and it's like an automated appraisal. We look up the comps for them. Um, they could look up. And is your when you look it up, is it a fair assessment? Of what it's actually you, pretty good. I'm I'm usually we use the MLS. Okay. And we use we use. So you can do that when you're on the phone with someone. Yeah. Within they two say, seconds. "Well, I'm not All sure." All I need Darren. is an address. Absolutely. They say, "Oh, I'm gonna." Uh, yeah, not we sure what we Darren look it is. up before, so we're oh. uh, yeah. I, well, I'm gonna I ask you when we're off air about my about my home. I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> All I need is because uh, you hear about lo- websites like Zillow, but I don't Zillow's know. Zillow is always wrong. Right? Zillow is never correct. Okay. Yeah, they're always so. they're either too high or too low. I don't like Zillow. 
I'm right. sorry. Uh, no, no, that's okay. Uh, it's just they're never correct. So right. They no, need, I they agree. need to work on that. I no, I was looking up property for someone, and yeah. and, and, and I and I looked up. I think up Zillow at, is I overrated. Do, right, honestly. Right. Well, you <laughs> have the experience as as a yes, being in the mortgage business. Absolutely. So, what are some things that uh, you've seen uh, through the years in in the mortgage business that where it's changed the rules for people? I mean, it's it's stressful being in the mortgage business. I applaud you for being in it and helping <laughs> homeowners who need correct ethical help Thank um, you, Lisa. I, I know an important nice focus you. for your company <laughs> is to help veterans meet their financing Absolutely. needs so I want to get into talking with ver- veterans and I, I that's one of the other reasons I wanted to have you on our show <laughs> we have Allison Eric who was here in their first segment of uh, US Hi, Veterans Allison. Magazine how are you? Hi, good I'm to great. see you how again you? yeah I saw her in the lobby it was really <laughs> nice to meet her so what specific loan programs help someone in the category that may that they may not know about if they're a veteran you, you know what we're doing with our with our veterans we're strictly advertising no cost no fee no point loans for our our troops and taking really really good care of them so um, unfortunately a lot of our veterans don't uh, pay attention uh-huh. to how low they could really get their deal they're too busy serving our country and doing wonderful things for us and fighting for our freedom that they don't pay attention and we actually want to help them and help them realize that they have many other options than what, most companies what's would. a good program for a veteran uh, the VA Streamline. Okay. We're a big fan of that. If they're a uh, current VA veteran as well as a homeowner and have a current mortgage, uh, they don't have to show their income or their assets or their appraisal. They could be upside down, have wow. no income. They don't have to show bank statements. They don't have to show nothing. Mm-hmm. And uh, we can close it really, really quick and give them a no-cost, no-fee loan with the absolute lowest rate. What? What about, I don't mean to jump in, I'm sorry, but uh, we have a lot of the uh, younger guys coming back who have no clue at all right. about, about, you know, what's available even even to begin doing that. Um, how do you direct that and where, where would you direct them to go for that? Well, um, what, what we do is we just uh, like to give them different options and, and we give, educate them right, on I was the phone. Say you give like, them education. Yeah, we do. And we spend a lot of time with them on the phone because uh, a lot of it to them uh, is like a, is, is another language. Right. You know? It's, so I appreciate you wanting yeah. to reach out to veterans. Yeah, what? we want to help them. We want to take real good care of them. Unfortunately, they're not uh, getting the best care when it comes to the their rates. They're unfortunately getting higher rates than wow. they should be and other they are taken advantage of quite a bit they are and i don't like that you yeah. know that's not right so we're, we actually want so, to take yeah, really good care of them you know? we need to get the word out absolutely for emortgagenow.com if <laughs> you are you so a veteran and you want to refinance or you're going to purchase a home uh emortgagenow.com we have a uh, director here darren gafari thank you they Lisa. can take Good care of you. you and it's, it's very automated, as we said early on. You go on their website. Ten minutes is all they need. They don't have to list their uh, income, their assets, or anything. Just ten minutes, wow. 15 minutes online. They can do it on their own time, and we will take care of them from there. And what's the process uh, that someone would take to close a loan from start to finish? Uh, really, all they all we need is about ten to fifteen minutes of their time on the on the automated loan application. Okay. And then from there, our loan processors will get a, a hold of the veteran and guide them from there. One last question, Darren. <laughs> As a broker, does your company have to be approved with certain banks? Does e mortgage have to be approved with certain banks to participate in these programs for veterans? Yes, we have to not only be approved with the banks, but we also have to be approved with. Uh, with the with, with our with the VA, so that's what I was gonna say. Without so they the, can go VA, to the VA, and they yeah. can they can hook up with you. Yes, that. we have a VA lender ID Good. number, and we're already sponsored with the VA. And well, the, like we have yeah. to. Well, our show <laughs> the show reaches out to San Diego, so right. if you're oh, a veteran, that's wonderful. It, it, uh, emortgagenow.com <laughs> works with anyone who's looking to refinance. Obviously, there's criteria, and uh, Darren is has the word out to work with veterans. Absolutely. So thank you, Darren, we take real good for care being of on the show. Darren Gafari <laughs> with U- usmortgagenow.com to learn more information about any of our guests thus far on the show, you can go to thebusinessexperienceshow.com. That's thebusinessexperienceshow.com. You're listening to Sports Radio AM830 KLAA. I'm Lisa Caprelli. We'll be right back after this short break. Is your business having a difficult time in today's market? If you offer a great product or service but are struggling with tapping into a solid customer base, perhaps we can help. 
or maybe you would just like to cut your losses and walk away. The marketing professionals from the Business Experience Show are considering turnaround opportunities with select businesses. If you feel that you can benefit, please contact us through thebusinessexperienceshow.com or call 949-415-8237. That's 949-415-8237.